what's going on everybody? Welcome back or welcome to the channel. My name is Tony. <laughs> Joseph. We are going to some yard sales, garage sales, and estate sales trying to find some stuff for the cheap that we can sell for the steep. Let's get it today, baby. We slept the first meat hook of the day. Um, it was like a little community sale, kind of. There was uh, three sales. I picked up these Cobra roller derby skates for seven bucks, um, and they sell in the green for about 70 to to $100. Joseph just picked up these two Bluetooth speakers. They're TDK Bluetooth speakers. He paid five for both. They sell for 80 each on eBay. And then I got for a dollar, I got a little Squishmallow. And I got an eye loop uh, for looking at jewelry. That's a cool eye loop. Yeah, it's cool. 50 cents. Yeah, it's a cool one. It's got yeah. a case with it. Let's keep on rocking. Rocking Sockham Robots. The sale that we're about to pull up to right now, we stopped at earlier. It said they started at 6.30 and then they changed it to 7. There's no signs out and now there's signs. So it could be um, some rhino teeth. Rhino teeth. There it is. Now there's a sign out. Okay, now you want to sell something. All right. Move and sell. Move and sell. Get all big signs. I'm going to make a whole pile and out from three bucks. Did you smell her armpits when she put her arm up? I was like, oh my God, you smell the hair? Yeah, gross. <laughs> the lady was a hippie, bro. She and uh Herself. Yeah, that sale was junk, man. We gotta find something uh, else. Smell like onions, bro. Like, <laughs> like onions. God. Like some Take a Rizzy here, bro. Take a Rizzy. Hit it. Stay! Yeah, these Squishmallows have a huge following. Um, some of them can sell for a lot of money, like the rare ones. This one here, I'll probably sell it for 15. After fees and stuff, I'll make seven bucks. But that seven dollars will pay for my skates and my eye loop. So, I mean, you can't complain. You just can't. <laughs> so, uh, for 10 bucks, I picked up this old IBM laptop. Um, old IBM stuff is like highly collectible and people pay good money for it. There's only two listed right now on eBay for like 250 bucks. And then there's a couple that are uh, that were sold for like a hundred, and then one sold for seventy-five that didn't have or that didn't work properly. And this one needs a battery, so I think I'm looking at like hundred bucks. Maybe I'll probably price it at one hundred fifty and take an offer, um, and it'll probably take a while to move. But pretty cool. And I got this old vintage uh, case uh -huh. knife sheath for two bucks, probably thirty to forty. Hopefully, I don't know. We'll see. It was the mom selling that? Mom don't do eBay. Them guys are the video games. They did eBay. The mom didn't. Yeah, we just pulled up to this sale right now. This guy had a bunch of video games, and as soon as I started to look through the tubs, I knew what was up. The guy was an online seller, and he was trying to get rid of all the stuff that he couldn't get rid of online, all the junk stuff. Um, we talked to him for a little bit, exchanged information. We might do something in the future. But Joseph got this Gucci watch for two bucks. And I mean, you don't even have to look it up. I mean, it's a Gucci watch. It's good. I'll buy it right now. What you want for it? 50. 50 bucks? I'll do 40. I'll do 40 right now. 40 it is. He paid two bucks for it. I'm I'm, I'm going to give him 40 for it. Sell it for 250. 40 bucks for the Gucci watch. I love it. Beautiful deal. Two into 40. I'll take it. He just made 40 bucks in five minutes. $2. I'm gonna freaking look at this thing for 10 years until someone wants to buy it for uh, 250 So uh, real quick, we're at this sale right now, probably the last sale of the day, um, and I was able to pick up this Native American bracelet. It's probably like 50 grams, and it's got all these stones in it. She wanted 300 I was able to get it for $110, um, and it's probably a $300 sale, maybe $400 sale on eBay. And uh, right now, we're uh, having them pull out some watches. They said they have a solid gold watch and um, some other things as well. So we might be able um, to get those things. I'll let you know. Alrighty, quick little update. Um, so, so far I've got like 10 vintage watches, really good watches. A lot of them automatics, um, a lot of value here, paid $70. Still need to look everything up, but really good buy. Joseph is like six, $700 deep right now. You got a bunch of stuff, including an Omega watch. 
um, and a bunch of other stuff. Native American jewelry, silver, gold, white gold, all kinds of stuff, and they're still pulling stuff out. What'd you get, Bo? I don't know, that was a, well, how long were we there with that lady? For two hours? She kept bringing stuff out, bringing stuff out. But yeah, what'd you get, Bo? This one thing I got is cool, look at this. Six sterling silver spoons, all of pure silver. Beautiful. It was really nice looking too. Look at this Omega Gold watch though. Omega Gold watch. What was the other name of the other one? Um, I don't know, but the other one was uh, the other one was definitely vintage, and is I know it's worth a lot of money. It's from like the 1930s. With real rubies in it. Look at the screen on that, the Art Deco. Yeah. What'd you pay for the two watches? 300, both of them are 14 karat. Yeah, one's an Omega, 14 karat gold Omega watch. This one's a chrome whale. You think it's gonna be a bad day, you find one lady, you spend two hours there, you spend 600, $700, so what, and you make 3,000. There you go. It's worth it. And then how much did you spend on this bag here? 300, but there's two white gold necklaces in there. And there's this um, Native American um, belt buckle. Belt buckle, which is probably worth like two or three hundred. Good Rings stuff. in there. There's some other stuff. In there. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, and then you got that ring. She threw in this ring for free. It's probably like a three gram ring, Where's two that? or three gram ring. What did I do with it? It was on your finger. Did you lose it? Yeah. Well, we'll find it. But yeah, you got like a, she threw in this two or three gram ring. It's like a little gold ring. Nothing crazy. It's just a little gold ring, probably worth like. 100 bucks. Yeah, so these are all the watches I picked up for a total of $70, which is me paying up, but the, the people felt like they had something and they didn't want to get bamboozled, so we made them fair offers. So I paid $70 for all these watches. Um, I know I should be able to get $70 at least just for this Benris. Um, these are all automatic watches. They're all vintage and they all work, uh, with the exception of a couple of them. Um, so I think it was a very good buy. I haven't looked up any of this stuff yet. Best kit of the day right here. White gold chain and white gold bracelet. Paid a hundred for both. Worth what? What's it worth? About 600. In the gold weight? Yeah. And he still got all that stuff. Yeah. And he has the vintage Omega watch and the vintage Cromwell watch. Both 14 karat gold. One's 14 karat white gold. One's 14 karat regular gold. And uh, yeah, they're probably, or they are three to $400 each on eBay. Paid a total of what, seven? too much well no it's not too much because with the watches and the gold the white gold uh, necklace and bracelet you're at 900 plus you have a lot of other stuff Gosh. and then uh, he's got this guy this belt buckle is probably like a three dollar belt buckle and I just spelt chocolate covered espresso beans all over my truck we just pulled it back to Joseph's house I'm about to head home and call it a day um, it was a pretty good day out yard selling and uh, you know it started off not too good but at that last buy it really uh, made the day worth it, so.